Looks like we have a full week of great Halo news coming your way, guys. We're going to be talking about the playlist updates, what's happening this weekend with Halo, as well as some Forge information that's going to be coming our way this week, and also how players find a way to glitch into eight to nine player co-op in the campaign, and a whole lot more. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So let's get right into the most immediate news for you guys right now, and that is Tuesday, which by the time this video is uploading on Monday, we have the September playlist update coming for us as well, which is going to be keeping the Yappening event going into BTB Social, while we'll also be losing the Land Grab playlist. And the reason why 3 for 3 is keeping the playlist is because it actually brought people back to the game, which is kind of crazy. This is the infamous Steam char player's chart. Now, this is only a fraction of the player base within Halo Infinite, but you can see how it basically has been kind of hovering around this level right here for the most part. And then the Yappening happened and boom, a nice little spike right there. Really good stuff to see for Halo Infinite. Now it has kind of dipped back down a bit, but it also has been a little bit higher than what it was previously. Also want to say if you guys are enjoying these type of news videos when it comes to Halo and other kind of stuff on the content, make sure you tap that like button as it is the best way to help support content on this channel. And don't forget to subscribe to keep yourself up to date, but let's get back into the content. And 343 even stated that the Yapping playlist has been the overwhelming favorite playlist, nearly four times as many people are playing it compared to the second most popular playlist in the Halo Infinite being Ranked Arena, where number one being Quick Play, which is kind of surprising. And so like we said earlier, the Yappening event will now be called BTB Social, which would be maybe a more universal term for the more wacky stuff you can do within BTB. Now, this mode was super popular back during Halo 5 when they brought in Super Fiesta for BTB. It became one of the more popular modes in the game, actually kind of leaving BTB a little less popular, which they actually did state within this blog that Big Team Battle has certainly taken a population hit with this new playlist. Obviously, there are some things to take in consideration as in the Yappening had challenges and also items from their event pass tied to that mode as well. So it certainly would boost up the player count, but we just have to wait and see how 343 will adjust the playlist based on player population and behaviors. So when Tuesday rolls around, the yapping ends, but you can keep on yapping. Now happening this weekend, starting on Friday, you have a chance to get some more diamond coatings for your weapons within Halo Infinite. That way you get it is by watching HTS Orlando, which is happening this weekend, starting on Friday. The rewards were just revealed so you have a diamond weapon charm you can earn, which if you watch anywhere, anytime from Friday to Sunday for at least two hours on Twitch, you'll be earning the diamond weapon charm, which is pretty awesome. The Gladiator's Edge sidekick, that's the diamond sidekick, which was available during the Valencia event, but it's coming back in here for the Orlando event, will be available from Saturday through Sunday. You have to watch at least two hours. And then if you want the Gladiator's Edge commando rifle, which this rifle sorely needs coatings i mean this one really is missing out on coatings you watch the grand finals which happens on sunday for one hour now these all stack up so you can save your time till sunday watch two hours during and one of those two hours being the grand finals you'll be earning all this good stuff combined now normally with events we have co-streamers as well so if you unlock everything that you can within the halo twitch channel you can hop over to one of the co-streamers you have a chance to unlock the hs launch coding in case you've missed that during the initial launch of the game. So you can have a chance to grab that. It actually does look really awesome. So I would highly suggest grabbing it. And also the ordinance disposal nameplate. Again, this is for if you watch at least two hours, you get the nameplate at least four hours, you get the coatings. Interesting thing to note as well, since that coding was revealed that it's coming out this Orlando event, that means that it's next month with the Seattle event, we're likely gonna get this coding, which I'm sure many of you have been very looking, excited about, very much looking forward to. That's the Gladiator's Edge coding for your Spartans. Now, this is where leaked images of people kind of find a way to kind of hack into whatever data mine system they can. Uh, it does look like it is cross core with this coding. So that's really cool to see. This will most likely be available at the end of October with the Seattle event, which I will be at. So if you guys see me there, stop and say hi. Let's get some pictures together and have some fun, you know, all that cool stuff. But this is definitely, I'm sure, what a lot of people are looking forward to when it comes to the event. So I will definitely be letting you guys know as soon as it is officially revealed for the Seattle event that these will be the coatings. I'll let you guys know here on the channel. Okay, now speculate with me on this one, guys. There's also an event called the Throwback Throwdown, supposed to celebrate the 15th anniversary of Halo. 3 celebrate 15 years of halo 3 iconic pro players from that era will clash in the throwback throwdown at hs orlando which is like okay if you're really really into 
uh, playing competitive Halo, you might be interested in something like this, but I think there's a little bit something else mixed in with this. Now, a person did respond saying that they're going to be playing on MCC or Halo Infinite, and they stated that they'll be playing Halo Infinite. So you have these Halo 3 pros coming back to the game, but they'll be playing on Halo Infinite. To me, that just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Now, with the recent Forge stuff that's been going on right now, there's been some interesting things that are happening. Recently, a content creator who focuses on Forge content, Unique, got NDA'd by 343. Um, guys, I just got a Twitter message from Unishek, a DM. He wants to talk Halo stuff. But I told you guys, if this was going to happen, uh, I'd most likely have to go under uh, NDA. If you guys don't know what an NDA is, it's a non-disclosure agreement. Meaning, the stuff he tells me, I would not be able to tell anybody. NDA'd out of his mind. So interesting. Why would a 343 employee go into a Forger stream who's doing a remake of Guardian? You know, saying, hey, I want to talk some Halo with you. Keep in mind, this is happening about a month before the HCS event. So I have a feeling that 343 is something cooking when it comes to playing this Halo 3 anniversary, 15th anniversary with the pros from Halo 3. But then you're playing Halo Infinite. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I think there's something surprising cooking up right here, which then if they're going to be able to have some classic maps like Guardian Return for this whole thing, we would be able to get like a classic matchmaking playlist. Well, Joseph Staten kind of hinted at this months ago that we covered on the channel, but we'll play it again here for you guys to see. Why don't you just bring back the, the maps from the old games and put them into Halo Infinite? Explain why you can or cannot do that. That's a good idea, Paris. Oh. I mean, all, all, all kidding aside, like, yeah. uh, I, I can talk about some things, but I can't talk about other things. Right. Like, there are some great Halo maps. Guardian, Gold, Pit. Like, there are a lot of maps that are awesome, right? I think it'd be awesome to play on those maps again. Don't don't you guys? Like, that sounds like a fun thing. So given Joseph Stain's coy response in that interview, the recent Forge leaks that have been going around, we had a Forger who was doing a Guardian remake, got contacted by 343 to kind of chat about things. I don't know, maybe I'm just snorting a ton of hopium, but I feel like this would be an amazing opportunity for doing a Halo 3 throwback with classic Halo 3 pros playing the game and they're playing Halo Infinite, why would you not involve Forge in some capacity? And would make it even more awesome if they found a way to maybe make this into like a limited time mode where you have classic Halo map pack basically. And it's a two week limited time mode where it's just like, it's a playlist where you can jump in and have some fun with some classic Halo maps. That would definitely boost the population. Which then you probably have the question of like, Kevin, if they were gonna put these classic maps into the game, they would have said it in the roadmap, right? Yeah, that would make sense if they're going to release them as just like maps you can play in the game as or as like a permanent thing that's going to be staying in the game. But like I was talking about a limited time mode. This would be something that I think would be absolutely awesome. It would be a limited time mode that would just come in for a week or two and then head out. It'd be a huge boost to the population. You wouldn't mention anything when it comes to a limited time mode. I mean, they don't have any limited time modes right here besides like the winter contingency update coming in December, which maybe it's tied into that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just snorting a ton of hopium and I'm hoping for better things with this game. Maybe, or it could just be Halo 3 Pros playing Halo Infinite, which to me honestly sounds kind of boring, but I want to believe. Now, while we're on the topic of Halo and Forge, we do have some new information about when the next Forge video is going to drop. The Forge lead himself, Michael Score, is that pronounce your name? I'm sorry if I mispronounced it, saying, I'm excited to talk about the scripting and bots features in Halo Infinite's Forge early next week. Hope to see you all there, basically. So, meaning that we're going to probably see this either Tuesday or Wednesday to expect when we will see this video. Of course, once it does come out, I will definitely detail it all for you guys to see on the channel here. So make sure you subscribe to stay up to date. And to boost up the hype a little bit more, right here we have Unishrek saying, if you liked our first Forge video, you'll love this one. So it'll be very interesting to see how they can do scripting, which has like been crucial when it comes to forging in this game. But the bots would be kind of interesting to see how you can change the behaviors, which we already have some video about that. This is a video here by Bisu Talks, who found a way to put the bots into Halo Infinite's Forge and have scripted this panel in a way to kind of work like classic Call of Duty zombies, where apparently if they stand within the vicinity of this area, after a few seconds, one panel drops and then another one and another one. Basically allowing it so you can have AI 
play against you within the mode, which is going to be absolutely awesome. I mean, bots have been super important when it comes to Halo Infinite's gameplay, and so we'll see how this plays out. Maybe you can try to you know, change the weapons that they hold, which looks like you can. Maybe they're scripting their abilities, which looks like you can as well, and their behaviors within the game. So this will be actually a great addition to the game. We'll see how much customization will be available with the Forge video. Also keep in mind that this is only going to be part two of a four part series coming for you guys. So we have future Forge information coming out for you guys as well. So like I said, subscribe to the channel. You'll stay up to date with everything going on with Halo. Outside now, the most viral thing going on right now when it comes to Halo is this right here. This is from Red Nomster who brought you the uh, like two scale realistic kind of like film noir room. Recreated the Toy Story room in Forge. I mean, this is again showcasing what you can pull off in this mode. It's gonna be so huge to see what people create, not only just when the Forge mode releases, but you know, down the line when people understand the tool a little bit better, what can we really create? This is gonna be a very ex expansive mode. It's gonna be changing basically how people will experience the custom and fun side of things of Halo. My biggest concern is I just hope to see some form of way for 343 to quickly enact like updates when it comes to the Forge mode. Uh, they did state that with the season three release that they do plan to have uh, updates to the Forge beta, which again, like I've stated in a previous video, they're calling it a Forge beta, but this is really like the release of the game, much like how they called the release of Halo Infinite's multiplayer a beta back in November, but that was really just the release of the multiplayer. So I'm expecting a very similar case when it comes to Forge as well, because traditionally we've had ability to implement Forge maps into matchmaking, but we know with the winter update, we're only getting two maps. So what else could we get between November and March? Well, I hope it gets some Forge content into the multiplayer some way. Though I don't have high hopes of that happening as 343's turnaround when it comes to updates have been very slow since they're focusing so much on fixing up the engine and getting this game in a good state by the end of 2023 that it seems like I wouldn't really place any money on it, but I really, really hope so. In some fun Halo news, it looks like they found a way to have nine player co-op within the retail version of Halo Infinite. Now, I haven't seen any videos on how to actually pull this up, what the tutorial is behind it, but if it's not too crazy, I mean, this would be hilarious if we can make this actually happen when it comes to just playing Halo Infinite online. Uh, though it does state that I've heard that with nine players, it becomes a bit unstable and it might crash. I've heard that you can have anywhere from six to nine players and that having six players seems to be a little bit more stable. That's probably why they focus on the four player for the retail version from 343. But if you can actually just kind of find a way to glitch into more people ju jumping into the co-op side of things, I mean like, absolutely. I'd be 100% down with this. Uh, like I said previously on the channel here as well, that Halo Infinite's campaign is specifically designed for co-op. If you guys missed out on the co-op flight, you really missed out on some real Halo fun because it's so much more of an experience playing with your friends playing campaign than it is just like playing solo. Uh, previously, all Halo campaigns have been very much just like a single player experience in that you can play with friends, where Halo Infinite's campaign feels like it's designed for co-op, actually designed for co-op, not like how Halo 5 said it was. This one actually does feel like it's designed for co-op and it's going to be a much better experience. And since it's going to be about a one year anniversary of Halo Infinite's somewhat good release that uh, it would be a great time to jump back in and play some campaign with some friends. And of course I'll be doing tons of co-op content on the channel here guys so make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with all that good stuff. So what to look forward to next week and this weekend? Well guys, I will let you know that there is the Modern Warfare 2 beta is coming and the cross play is coming so all your Xbox players and PC players will be able to play this weekend. If you pre-order, you can start on the 22nd. If you just do the open beta, it's the 24th through the 26th. I do plan on jumping in and playing this and actually making a video, a full video, detailing my thoughts, very similar how I did with the previous video, talking about my concerns with Modern Warfare 2 and how I have seen some of those come to reality right here. So we'll be talking a lot about the weird perk system within Modern Warfare 2, how slide canceling they said was canceled, but it actually is still in the game in some way. We'll be talking the maps, modes, and various weapons and things like that. Just kind of doing an overall breakdown of how Modern Warfare 2's gameplay really plays out. And if it's something you should be interested in playing, because this is coming out like literally the week before the Halo Winter update. So it'd be uh, 
quite some competition for Halo for sure. If you want to hear how my COD concerns have become a reality, check out this video right here. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.